The last time we were in moderate flood stage in Atlantic City and Cape May was on October 11th, and we are going to get there as we go into our first Saturday of April. A coastal flood warning is in effect for Atlantic and Cape May counties from 2 to 10 a.m. on Saturday. And it does look like flood waters are going to be a little lower in Cumberland as well as Ocean and Salem County, so we have an advisory for there as well as all the counties shaded in yellow. Let's take a look at this as we break it down high tide cycle by high tide cycle. This is Saturday morning for the high tide. We are anticipating moderate flood stage. Many roads along the Bay Shores will flood. We'll even see some overwash along the natural dune on the ocean side. Some damage is expected. And if your home or structure or property is not raised, and you're along the Bay Shore, you could even see a little bit of water inundation there. We are anticipating road closures as well. Now for the Saturday evening high tide, we're expecting minor flood stage. This is the nuisance flooding that we see many times throughout the year. A few roads will flood, no damage to homes or businesses or your property. And we are anticipating that to continue into Sunday morning as well. Sunday morning's high tide should actually be a little bit higher than Saturday morning, excuse me, Saturday evening's high tide. Tide. Let's take a look at our radar as we go into the night tonight because we do have some rain to talk about too. It's just some spotty showers that are passing through. We've seen some already today where they're falling. It's generally light and it's not accumulating to a heck of a whole lot. And by 11 p.m., I do believe we are dry here in the center of our low pressure. Pretty much right where you see those green dots. It's there and over to the east. As we go into early next week, you're going to be nicer in terms of our temperatures. Goner to 50s. We'll be talking about 60s on the mainland here, which is above average for this time of year. And actually, we'll be in the 60s pretty much until next Thursday once we begin next week. So as we look at our mainland forecast for this evening, temperatures falling from the 50s into the 40s here. Yes, a couple of sprinkles or showers around, but for the most part, we are dry here. Same story over at the shore. It'll just be a little bit on the milder side, and that will carry over into tonight, which should be cloudy after 11 p.m., a little bit on the damp side too despite the northerly winds northerly winds will switch to the northeast and in the east that's why we're getting that coastal flooding morning clouds complete with afternoon sun temperature is about five degrees below average for this time of year we'll call it sweater weather here in south jersey let's take a look at the pollen count trees of course have been blooming and that means we are at a high on our pollen count there mold is high as well no ragweed pollen to speak of as we go into sunday We'll see a little bit more sunshine during the morning as opposed to the afternoon. Overall, I think it's mostly cloudy here. Temperatures in the 60s in a couple of mainland spots like in Galloway. Over in K May County, I think we stay in the 50s here. And as we go into Cumberland County, Deerfield, Vineland, Millville, all should be in the 60s. Here's our mainland seven-day forecast. Here's Monday, 65 degrees, beautiful day. Probably our most comfortable day of the week. Not that Tuesday is that bad, but you will see more cloud cover. And as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, Two systems are coming through. Neither of them will carry a whole heck of a lot of rain. I don't think either one is a washout, though I will say Thursday does look to get a little close, and those temperatures will go back down in the cooler territory as we get into late next week on Thursday and Friday. We will keep you updated throughout the weekend on the coastal flooding. You can follow me on social media for that. You can go to Joe Mark WX over on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, or you can sign up for my Something in the Air newsletter, as well as get the latest Sound Jersey weather videos, articles, and more at thepressofac.com slash weather.